Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy CKG, man. We're back at it again, man. Um, uh, we got Hidan here, and I really feel like this DLC needs to happen for this game. Um, we're gonna work out the mechanics here, and we're gonna break down what you know what's gonna be in this DLC. Um, first thing you need to know is that there are ten reward system for this game. You know, with the DLC it has ten rewards, right? Um, I'll have to fire off a list of rewards for you, but I, I guess I, I'll just do that. But honestly, right here, as you see, you unlock the player, of course. Um, you always tend to get a weapon of some sort. You get clothes, maybe some lobby action, you know, like an emote. And um, shinobi boost, like always, there's always some shinobi boost. And of course, the ninjutsus, and you know, that goes with the ultimate. But it's 10 things we're gonna break down. The first off, we got is the unlocked player. Now, you're gonna unlock the player through, you know, Hero Festival, because that, you know, that's basically how we give the players the Hero Festival. So that's first, you know what I mean? <laughs> you pass over that, right? Um, now, once you unlock, which is good, right? You know, he's unlocked. But essentially, it works like this, right? So you unlock him, like I said. Um, you'll get the first thing you'll get usually is a ninjutsu. So we're gonna go over that. First ninjutsu, I believe you should have what we call like Grim Reaper, right? Now Grim Reaper, your skin will turn black, and I think on this activation, you should be nullified from all attacks. It's the same thing as Kamui, things like that. Um, but if you attack, you can still be able to get hurt. It's just you know maybe an aesthetic thing, like you know he just you know you look like a. <laughs> Like a skeleton, really. Like his skin gets all black, it looks crazy, right? And um, for that, would be the first activation, right? For the first ninjutsu. Now, it, um, it could boost your guard. You know, that there can be, you know, little side effects for you. Like boosting your guard would be good. Uh, boost your defense, if anything. But that would be the first ninjutsu. Now, second ninjutsu, I do have in mind for it, would be um, the actual stab. Like, you know, because you need blood to do the ritual. So he needs some type of blood from the opponent. So. This could be just like Imperial Wrath. Like, you hit him first, and then there's a second activation, right? You know how that works. So after that's done, boom, right? You got two ninjutsus out the way. The ultimate, of course, you already know, it be with the ritual. Joshin ritual, you already know. Um, now, when you have act all that activated, it, it can move just like Paralysis Seal, maybe? You know what I'm saying, animations? Or it can move kind of like Neji's ult. You know what I mean? It can move just like this, right? Um, go crazy you know what I mean like I, I, I kind of like it if it looked like this right at least this this looks good right so when you get that going that'll be the old you got all three moves right there his hair um his hair is kind of like you know in the game a little bit but I would like his hair because it'll bring his headband for I believe it was on his neck right so you can have the hair that can also be a part of the DLC which is knocking this down right if you look at it there's always like two shinobi boost seal so that just you know already you're getting eight things really so already you're knocking that off because boom you know that's done um and of course the outfits now the outfits will consist of his either the jacket one which i do really do want now i believe when they give they don't really give us two they give us one right and then the other one we get like ninja world league or something like that but if they do give us a secondary one that'd be cool i would want when his jacket's like like the, the, it's open the you know the akatsuki cloak is actually open that'd be pretty straight right as you're seeing so um these two outfits yes that would be a go and then finally would be the lobby action now you know we all get the dancing we all like to do our dances and stuff but um his lobby action would be you know the ritual you could do it real quick on the ground and boom you know what i mean like he <laughs> maybe even stab yourself but that I can see that going for it. Like the ultimate, you're stabbing the opponent, and when you do the ultimate, it does do a one-shot kill. It kills you, right? It's like you're seeing here, for examples, that could be the ultimate right here. Like, yeah. But this this would be my pitch for a heat on. I really want this in the game. I could really feel like for defense, it could really go far, right? For these moves. Of course, like I said, um, for the ninjutsus. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know what you guys might want to see, and I'll see y'all in the next episode, man. Um, yeah. Give us some love for Hidon, man. Hit that like button for Hidon. All right. Peace. Put those fires in the chat. Put those feelings in the chat. Put those thoughts in the chat. Put those blessings in the chat.